Hello, so this is the baby blanket tutorial. Um, I'll be showing you how to do this stitch and this is basically like what your blanket's gonna look like. Okay, so you're gonna use your Bernat baby blanket yarn. Um, you're gonna need at least two balls of that, your 300 gram balls. Um, and you're gonna need a 12 millimeter hook. I'm just using the medium weight yarn that I used in the last video and this six millimeter hook. To start off, you're going to want to chain 52. So make a slip knot, enter your hook, yarn over, pull through, chain one, two, three, fifty-one, fifty-two. 52. So that is my chain of 52. It should measure to around 35 inches. If it doesn't, you can just try to make your chain again and maybe use a looser tension to get it to be longer. So here is how to do a cluster stitch. So this is a regular double crochet. You yarn over and then skip two, insert it into the third loop, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through three. That is a double crochet, right? But you're not gonna wanna do that. So for this pattern, you're going to want to, one, two, three, four. You're going to want to insert your hook into the fourth chain. So yarn over first, and then insert your hook into the fourth chain. And then you're going to yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two. Now, this is where it differs from a double crochet. You're going to keep these two loops on your hook. So you're going to do that two more times in the same stitch, so in the same hole. You're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the hole, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, and pull through the first two, just like the beginning of a double crochet. And now you have three loops on your hook. And then you're gonna do that one more time in the same hole, yarn over, insert the hook, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through the first two. And now you have four loops on your hook. So now yarn over and then pull through all four of them. And so that kind of gives you like this little puff stitch or like this little bubble so yeah i'll show you again but after you do your first puff stitch you want to chain one so after you've chained one you're going to skip the chain that's right next to the um the one that you just worked in and then insert it into the one after that so again you're going to yarn over insert your hook into the second chain from where you just worked Yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, and then you yarn over. Instead of pulling through like a double crochet, you're going to insert your hook again. Yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, and now you have three loops on your hook, yarn over, Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through the first two. And now you have the four loops in your hook that you want. So yarn over and pull through all four of them. Just like that. And now you have your two puff stitches. And you're gonna chain, always chain after you finish a little cluster. Okay, so again, yarn over, skip this chain, insert it into the next chain, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, oh, that was three, yarn over, 
insert, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, the four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all four, and chain. Okay, I'll show you again. Yarn over, skip a chain, insert your hook into this chain, the chain after. Yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert your hook again. Yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two. Now you have four. Yarn over, pull through all four of them. And so chain after your cluster. Yarn over, skip this chain, insert your hook into the chain after. Yarn over, pull through one. Yarn over, pull through the first two. Yarn over, insert your hook. Yarn over, through one. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert your hook again. Yarn over, pull through one. Yarn over, pull through the first two. Yarn over, and then pull through all four. And so. After, make sure you always chain, yarn over, skip this chain, insert it into the next one. Yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert it into the hole, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, Insert the hook, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two. Now yarn over and pull through all four. And then make sure you always chain after. So basically you repeat this step all the way down your chain and I will show you what you do once you get to the last chain. Okay, so we're approaching the last couple of clusters. So Yarn over, skip the chain, insert it into the next chain over. Yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert your hook, pull through one, pull through two, yarn over, insert your hook, pull through one, pull through two. All four, chain one. Yarn over, skip the chain, insert your chain into the next, insert your hook into the chain. So you're down to your last two chains in your foundation chain. So you're going to skip this chain and then in the very last one, you're going to do a double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook into the last chain, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That's your double crochet and here is your first row. Obviously yours should look a lot bigger and... <laughs> Um, it should measure about 35 inches again, but if it doesn't, like, try to adjust the tension and such, like, I will now show you how to do row two. So you just did your double crochet, and so you're going to want to chain three. So, one, two, three, and then you're going to turn your work, and then you're going to cluster in this hole between your double crochet and your last cluster so yarn over insert your hook yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over insert your hook pull through one pull through two 
yarn over, insert your hook, pull through one, pull through two, and then all four. So again, chain one, skip this cluster. You're not working in the V's anymore, you're just working in these holes in between. So yarn over, insert your hook into the hole, see this hole right here. Insert your hook into there, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through all four loops. Chain one, yarn over, skip this cluster, work into this hole next to it. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through one, Yarn over, pull through two. Now, yarn over and pull through all four loops. So, again, chain one, yarn over, insert your hook into the hole. Yarn over, pull through one. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert your hook. Yarn over, pull through one. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert your hook. Yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two. Now yarn over and pull through all four loops. So you're kind of left with this like alternating like puff. So this is basically the pattern that you're going to be repeating. So I'll get to the end of this row and doing the same thing, just yarning over, inserting my hook into the hole next to the cluster. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert my hook, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert my hook, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, and just yarn over and pull through all four loops, and then chain one. So yeah, I'll continue that all the way to the end, and then I'll show you what you do at the end of row two. Okay, so this is almost to the end of row two, so this is what your blanket should be looking like. So again, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over and pull through all four. Once you reach the end of row two, you're going to skip this cluster and then there's a space right next to it that you made in the very beginning. So you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that space next to the cluster, and then just double crochet. So yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over and pull through two. Just like that. And so this will be what you repeat for as many rows as needed to make a 35 by 35 inch square or until you run out of yarn basically so i'll show you the beginning of row three so you're gonna chain three one two three flip your work and you're going to cluster in this first hole right here so yarn over insert your hook Yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through all four loops. And so you just repeat this process all the way until the end. And then once you get to the end, you're just going to want to insert a double crochet and then chain three and turn your work. I will continue to show you row three and then 
so you're just going to repeat alternating in between the clusters and then at the end of the row just double crochet so yeah so first cluster then chain one insert yarn over pull through yarn over pull through yarn over insert yarn over pull through yarn over pull through yarn over insert yarn over pull through yarn over pull through yarn over through all four chain one Okay, so we're reaching the end here. Um, let me just finish the last few clusters. Okay, last one that I will do. Okay, so again, this is how you end row three. You have your cluster and then you have this hole next to your cluster and you're just going to double crochet into that hole. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over, pull through two. So now to start the next row, just chain three, flip your work, and then in that hole, you're going to make a cluster. So yeah, you're just going to repeat those two rows over and over again until you get the length that you want. Um, it's supposed to be a 35 inch by 35 inch blanket. That's just approximate, but just go until you run out of yarn. Um, if you need help, rewatch this video a bunch of times if you need to learn how to do this stitch. It takes a bit of practice if you're not really used to it but i believe in you i know that you can do it and if you have any questions you know just message me um but yeah a lot of it's just repetition you if you want to practice beforehand practice your double crochets or just practice doing this but yeah i know you can do it i hope the baby blanket turns out good <laughs>